right, people, welcome back to the channel. It is your favorite YouTube couple, Claire and Drew, back at it with another terrible challenge that I don't want to do. Hi. What we did. Oh, yeah, there's Claire right there. Sorry, I love this thing. But anyways, what we're doing today is we are going to be taste testing five or six or something items from the dollar store. And surprisingly, the dollar store carries a lot of things that you would find at like Walmart or yeah. Target. Like I was thinking it was all gonna be weird, I know. generic stuff. But we got we got some weird generic stuff. We got some weird stuff. But I didn't think the dollar store carried Doritos, like Twix. I told Reese's you that Cups. this dollar store was bougie and it had all the stuff you would ever want. Uh -huh. But we tried to find the most unique items that we have never seen in our entire lives. Yeah. And we're also using the same setup as we do for our new podcast. Link in the description. If you guys aren't subbed to that, go check it out. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't distract you from the fact that we're gonna eat literally some very cheap food. It could be really good though. Cheap stuff sometimes good. This so, all of this together I think was nine bucks. Yeah, nine bucks for six items because some is more than a dollar. It's like two bucks for something. Yeah, but it's all like discounted. Mm, or yeah. you'd like to think so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we're gonna hop into this thing. Smash the like button. If you guys want us to do this again, and let's freaking do it. And subscribe. That too. And let's freaking do it. First up is my first find. Whoa. They are chocolate cream pie holiday puffs by Golden Flake. Chocolate cream, cream pie. pie holiday puffs. And, and can... ironically, there's nothing in them that I can't have. Okay, if if you're a vegan or whatever Claire is, and there is something called like vegan? chocolate cream puff puffs. What is it? A chocolate cream chocolate cream pie holiday chocolate puffs. Chocolate cream pie holiday puffs. Never in a million years would I think Claire could eat something that's called chocolate cream pie puff, but she can, and that just shows these are not chocolate cream puff. Pie puffs. Let's go. Let's just get. This is like top tier stuff. Show some freaking manners here. Ooh, they smell real good. They smell like. You know what these smell like? Look at them. They look like little poopies. No, I was thinking cocoa puffs on oh. like steroids, maybe Ooh. like a big blown okay, up like cocoa puff. Or, yeah, we'll just do. One. <laughs> we'll say we'll save some for later. Boom. One puff. Very light. There is no shot. These are filled with anything. Oh, very light. Ugh. Like the original taste, I was like, this is like a cocoa puff or something. It's like a cheese puff with chocolate ah! on the outside. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. How those got passed as like, okay, is... Oh my gosh, like it, the aftertaste is literally a cheese puff. Ugh. Like I feel like I have a Cheeto in my mouth right yeah, that's, now. It literally tastes like a cheese puff with chocolate, chocolate on it. That is illegal and disgusting. The F was that. Okay, up next was one I found, and these are 100% gluten-free wafers vanilla. Woo! They have, I mean, I think these are pretty cheap anyways. Like a normal yeah. wafer, like, I don't these know the main- These seem bougier than like the normal ones that you get in like yeah. the- Yeah, I don't know what the normal the clear brand package. is. It's yeah, like yeah, a clear, yeah. Like you the know normal what I'm wafer package, but, but look at these individual packages for that. Boom, boom. Wow, this is so fancy. They, you know what they should have done is sold these sold these for like 25 cents a pop yeah. because that whole thing was a dollar and if i saw this for a quarter i'm buying two which is technically twice as much as if you bought a full pack i won't lie these do not have a lot of like color like they look like like very bland they smell like like a birthday cake candle okay i'm just saying the smell is amazing that no, is that's a, what I'm, a birthday cake candle that smells good what are you talking about a birthday cake candle those smell like wax you mean icing birthday cake icing yeah no. A candle? That smells like, smell a like candle. wax. It smells like a candle. I look, there's no dairy. Sorry. I look, it said no dairy. Well, there's I no dairy. I read it with my eyes. That's why I freaking got it, dude. I won't lie, it tastes like perfume. I'm getting perfume. Cause it's a freaking candle. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. That is not good. None of, nothing about that is good. The cream's like way too it's like, like liquidy. The normal wafers are way better. Just spend the extra like 25 cents. Yeah, that is terrible. That's worse than the cocoa puff. I'm sad because this just, with everything we got, I know you guys don't see it, but it's gonna get worse. And if these aren't good, yeah, I'm scared. very scared. We are screwed. Okay, so this next item is kind of a weird one because I found 
Toaster pastries. Brown sugar. I don't know if you guys mm. can see that. I think you can. But these are Pop-Tarts, but the dollar store kind. Like a Pop-Tarts, like that was probably like five, six bucks, right? Like a normal Pop-Tart. Like the, the picture of the brown sugar looks like syrup. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty curious to see what this tastes like. But unfortunately, Claire can't have these. And I really wanted to get them because these were a dollar and a normal pack of Pop-Tarts is like five bucks or something like that. What? I think. No. I think they're pretty expensive, bro. I think they're pretty freaking expensive, bro. Six packs. Yeah, that's those aren't cheap. I mean, think you get one Pop-Tart out of a vending machine for like a dollar 25. Ah, that's true. So, yeah. So, I got these Yum Earth gummies that I have seen at like Bougie Sprouts and Whole Foods. Mm. Very similar. Very similar. Ooh. Mm, they smell good. My gummies smell good. And they taste very healthy. Okay. Very, very interesting icing spread. Okay. Down the hatch it goes. I don't like these gummies. I don't like them. It smells exactly the same. That's pretty good. That tastes spot on the exact same. What? Mm -hmm. Spot on the exact same. That is the best one yet. Here, let me have one of these. They're, not, they're like healthy gummies. Ugh. That tastes no like high, to, high fructose corn syrup. The texture makes it seem like I'm biting into a piece of uncooked chicken. <laughs> like, you know, when you like, you know what I'm talking about? That's what that tastes like. It doesn't taste like it. It feels like it. Uh, Okay. All right, the next item is one I am not excited for at all, and that is Fast Bites cheeseburger sliders. Mm, Boom. Yummy. Very cheap. I think two of these were less than like a dollar. I think they might have literally been like 45 cents a piece or something. Oh, wait, hold on. This is the description on them. Cheeseburger sliders. Good, right? Very good. Mini beef patties and cheese product on buns. That's creepy. All right, I gotta go downstairs. If it has to clarify that it's cheese product, mm -hmm. not just cheese. Mm -hmm. Here they are. Oh. Mm. I cannot wait to devour these bad boys. Show that. No, show that one. There you guys go. <laughs> I don't want to. Just one bite. Just do like a corner bite. <sighs> <laughs> it looks really gross in your mouth. Okay. The best way I can describe this is, you know, when you're eating something. Yeah. And you take a bite and you know something's not supposed to be there. And you're like, hmm, what was that? It was that, but every... Ew! Through everything. Ew! It was very gross. And I'm not just saying this. Ew, that's so gross. I thought it was going to be like those White Castle burgers yeah. you get at like King Supers or yeah, whatever. Yeah, they're pretty good. Those are fire. These, <laughs> poopy. Oh, I just put that in my body. You should go up there and show the camera. Here, we'll do a little ad right here. Watch this. Here we have a nice, delicious cheeseburger that is 45 cents a piece. As you see, it is high quality beef. Look at that steam coming off. That cheese melting like a nice, warm queso right out of the oven. This ground beef patty combo with the bread and the cheese will run you a good 39 cents at your local Dollar General. Enjoy. My review of this is terrible. All right. And for our last item that I found, and I wish I never would. And we don't know if this is a dollar store product or an everywhere product. Boiled peanuts. This is not fair that I had to eat the burger and you just, I mean, you eat this first and based on your reaction, I will then decide if I want one. Here, I'll give Wait, you one. Wait, let me read to you what it says. Boiled peanuts. Delicious, chilled, heated, or right out of the can. <laughs> All right. I am not eating one until Claire eats one because I had to eat those burgers. <gasps> I saw it. Oh my God. No, don't smell it. Don't, don't. Literally breathe through your mouth. Oh, do not spill that anywhere. That will literally stain. Are you supposed to eat these raw? <laughs> Oh my god. I can't even grab it. It literally looks like oh, it's only a peanut too, and I just smell vanilla wafers. There's a film on it. Like there's like a How do you eat it? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna it, I'm literally gonna vomit. It literally looks like peanuts that were bathing in bird saliva for like the last like <laughs> week. I right, just slurp those out of there, babe. You have to be able to eat the whole thing. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? You did it. You did it. Good job. Yeah, just eat that little guy. Finish it. I had to eat the freaking hamburger. Good job. Fear factor is now complete. Ew. How are you supposed to eat these? I've never even knew these were a thing. <sighs> Yeah, we, we're gonna stop that. Yeah, we're just, I'm, and I'm not going to partake in this because that looked disgusting. No, you have to. No, you didn't eat the meat. Well, there you guys have it. We just taste tested like six of the weirdest things we could find. Well, not weirdest, but generic things we found at the Ew. dollar store. And Claire definitely had the worst with the peanuts, I guess. Ugh, I'm still smelling them, but the best was my Pop Tart. And your best was probably the Pop Tart if you could have eaten. Yeah, probably. But that's gonna be it for today's video. You guys, make sure before you leave to like and subscribe. Andrew, what are you doing? I'm staring at the screen. But yeah, that's it for today. Just sign off. Bye.